Hello my friends, Gabriel here, welcome to another video and today we're going to talk about some software bugs and issues with uh, the Google Nexus 6 or the Motorola Nexus 6 I've been using this device for a couple of weeks already close to one month and I had uh, enough time to notice some uh, annoying things and the first one that I want to show you in this video today it's uh, the fact that uh, this device suffers from screen burning as you already know the Nexus 6 uses an uh, AMOLED display a 6 inch AMOLED display Quad HD resolution and unfortunately although AMOLED uh, displays have a lot of uh, benefits they also include some very nasty issues the most important one being screen burning I don't know if you can see on the camera but uh, on the bottom side of the display where the navigation bar is you can notice uh, some screen burning you can notice the buttons the back, the home also the recent uh, apps uh, button and this unfortunately is very disturbing for me mainly because this device um, is basically brand new and I'm uh, very worried about uh, how this display will fare on the long term I have to say that I did see worse things uh, happening with AMOLED displays and the worst uh, screen burning that I ever saw was on the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 where the screen burning in fact uh, was uh, atrocious to say the least this being one of uh, the reasons if you want for which I never bought uh, the Note 4 and probably I never will unfortunately on the Nexus 6 the same thing happens mainly because all the time we have the navigation bar we have all these buttons on the screen uh, no matter uh, what app you are using they will always be there most of the time uh, when watching movies and uh, playing some games um, sometimes they disappear sometimes uh, they don't fortunately the fact is that uh, the Motorola Nexus 6 suffers from uh, screen burning supposedly there is a way to repair this issue by using this app AMOLED burn-in fixer which uh, allows you to enable basically to enable inverted colors which you can find in, um, in the settings of the phone and uh, the developer of this app uh, actually says that uh, by uh, enabling inverted colors you basically let's say repair the screen burning uh, effect I have to be honest with you, I tried it for half an hour I haven't noticed any improvements uh, so uh, I don't know what to say I'll be using it again, test it for one hour and see if there is um, any real benefit in uh, doing this but I will let you know in a different video if uh, this uh, fix actually works another issue with uh, the, no the Nexus 6 is the fact that uh, the Nexus logo on the back of the device starts to peel off after uh, some time and I did, uh, did uh, notice this on um, a friend's Nexus 6 when um, his logo started to peel off also the back uh, of the device which is made out of polycarbonate starts to, to peel off especially if you don't use a protective case like I have on my Nexus 6 but there is a fix also for that you can find a spare uh, cover on eBay or Amazon for about uh, $12 and you can replace the back cover which is uh, basically glued to the rest of the phone it's not a very hard uh, process you can do it by yourself but uh, just keep in mind that uh, there are also some issues with, uh, with the back cover of the device and now let's go to the most interesting part and if you are subscribed to my channel you already know that I really really hate Android Lollipop 
this has to be in uh, my opinion and I have to repeat myself my opinion this has to be the worst software update from uh, Google in a very very long time I've never seen so many bugs and so many issues with uh, a software update on uh, Android uh, since ever KitKat had some issues but uh, they were uh, ironed out eventually but with Lollipop I consider it to be a total disaster my main gripes with Lollipop and its bugs are the fact that uh, the device in this particular video but all the devices that I used and installed Lollipop on them had issues with overheating overheating and battery drain which I personally consider are uh, very related one to each other and let me show you what I'm talking about let's use CPU Z I did use uh, the device for a couple of minutes prior to this video and these are the temperatures that uh, the device has right now I didn't use any intensive um, apps, uh, didn't do too many things but uh, when I usually start to use my device uh, for the things that I need uh, taking shots, I don't know, uh, web browsing watching uh, some YouTube videos uh, and uh, so on the device gets really really warm not to the point that you have to drop it from your hand but it does uh, become very warm and when playing uh, intensive 3D games and also shooting 4K video with the camera then the device starts to get really hot which uh, considering the fact that uh, it's summer becomes very disturbing even to the point that uh, if you're not using the device and um, I don't know you keep it you carry it on uh, on your jeans I don't know in your pants you're gonna feel the device uh, being warm unfortunately this happened to all the devices that I updated to Lollipop uh, the Note 3 S5 LG G3 uh, Sony Xperia Z2 Z Ultra Z3 any one of those devices had the same problems with overheating and with battery drain the worst problems that I have noticed were on the Sony Xperia Z3 and uh, that was the reason for which I also sold the device and uh, got the Nexus 6 unfortunately I'm running uh, 5.1.1 and the same problems persist and uh, I don't know why uh, Google doesn't take uh, take care of them and uh, hopefully with Android M which is uh, close to release these problems will finally get fixed because uh, having a huge battery inside 3220 million power battery it's uh, such a, a shame to to have these issues and to get uh, the battery life that I get I do get a full day of usage with my type of usage don't get me wrong but screen on time is very inconsistent I uh, usually get somewhere about uh, four hours and a half of screen on time but I did manage to get uh, over five hours but also I managed to get three hours so screen on time is very inconsistent basically with the same usage and uh, unfortunately it's a big letdown for me considering the huge battery inside Another issue that I discovered is with uh, the sound. Um, sometimes, especially when, um, I don't know, you're watching a movie. Let's go to YouTube, for example, so I can uh, show it to you. I'm going to pick a video from uh, my channel. Let's say uh, this one. Sometimes, if you're watching... Uh, video in portrait mode or listening to music if you rotate the device to landscape there will be a small uh, pause between um, I don't know the rotation and the sound coming from the loudspeakers okay so let's try, uh, try to, to reproduce This wasn't the best uh, example, 
but it does happen trust me it did happen to me also today when i was watching some youtube videos let's pick another video from uh, my subscriptions and let's see if this one when you hear about legends in the auto business you always hear about f-150 and camry and accord it does happen it did happen and also another thing related to sound i did notice and i did uh, read on the forums uh, from uh, a lot of users that uh, when battery decreases to a certain level let's say uh, somewhere around 10 percent the output from the loudspeakers it's um, how should i put it isn't the best it uh, it tones down uh, the loudspeakers don't uh, put the same uh, the same power, uh, the same sound quality out of the um, device. I did notice this um, basically every time because uh, I don't always uh, put my device to charge when uh, I don't know it uh, drops to 15%. I usually let it uh, let it uh, discharge completely and then uh, recharge it. I did notice this and. Uh, I'm very certain that this is a software bug uh, with uh, with Lollipop. The other things that uh, are really annoying with uh, the Nexus 6 and uh, Lollipop 5.1.1 is the fact that uh, there is a lot of lag throughout uh, the entire system. Right now I'm using a custom launcher, it's called Go Launcher. And uh, let me show you what I'm talking about, especially if you're in the recent um, apps window. Let's try to close some apps. And you can notice there is some lag. I have my animations uh, disabled because uh, if I would have let them enabled, the problem would be even uh, even annoying, more annoying than uh, than it already is. I did notice a lot of uh, lag throughout the UI, also using uh, Google Launcher. I did try Nova Launcher, the same uh, issues um, persist. I'm using Go Launcher now. Um, as I said, it helps me a lot, uh, but uh, still, lag is still present. Also, sometimes when you open apps, it takes a while until uh, the apps are actually loading. And because we are in the Photos app, I did notice some bugs also here. Mainly when uh, double tapping to zoom, to zoom in or out uh, on a picture, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Right now it works, but uh, many times it did happen not work and I had to manually uh, zoom in or zoom out. Speaking about, about pictures uh, and also about camera, I have to say that uh, on all devices running Lollipop, I noticed that uh, the camera has some issues with uh, white balance and also overexposing. And when recording 4K videos, there uh, is sometimes a lot of lag and uh, stuttering and also uh, some very uh, some dropped frames I did notice this a lot on uh, the Galaxy S5 but I did notice it also on the Motorola Nexus 6 so as I said uh, there are a couple of uh, bugs and issues uh, with the Nexus 6 unfortunately some of them could be very easily repaired with a software update but uh, Google uh, won't release any software update to, to iron out these uh, software bugs. Others are hardware related. And uh, basically, the biggest uh, issue that I have with uh, this device is the fact that uh, it overheats and also that uh, battery life, or uh, more uh, specifically, screen on time, it's very inconsistent. Very inconsistent. And uh, also the fact that uh, the screen suffers from uh, the burning effect. 
It's unacceptable for a device that costs a lot of money. I have here the 64 gigabytes uh, Nexus 6, which uh, in my country, in Romania, where I live, costs around uh, 700 euros. It's a lot of money for a device that's supposed to be a premium device from Google with uh, a very reputable partner, Motorola, and unfortunately we get these uh, issues. Both hardware and software, especially software related. Hopefully with Android M they will fix those software issues and uh, we can enjoy uh, using our Nexus 6. Um, the way it was probably intended uh, intended to, to be used. This pretty much does it for this video guys. I'm sorry if I bored you, but uh, these are the issues that I noticed with my device. Let me know in the comment section if you notice other issues. And uh, if you did like the video, hit the like button. Also please share this video for others to see. And if you didn't already, subscribe to my channel for uh, future videos. Also, follow me on my official Facebook page, Google Plus and uh, Instagram. As always, my friends, I'm Gabriel. Be good, be safe, peace.